All right, the eighth gym, Wolfric. Come through right here, my dude. What do you have for me in my last gym fight? You know, I could go over to, wow, 68. Are they actually going to get him to level 70s? Actually, I have Play Rough for you. I was going to say, I could go over to Sylveon with, you know, Fairy. But we have Play Rough right here, which is not going to kill. What's going on, United Family? United Gamer here, and welcome to another exciting episode of the Pokemon Y Randomizer Egglock. How are you beautiful people doing? Hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. In the last episode, everybody, I really cannot tell you exactly what happened. It has been a while since we have recorded this series. That does not mean this series is done and over yet. We still have a lot to do. We have the 8th gym to take on, and then the Elite Four. Before I go on any further, because we have a major battle right here, let me go ahead and load the spinner and see what we get. If you guys are enjoying this series and want to see us come out with a victory, be sure to show that United Family love and smack that like button. A selfish. No, a blessed egg. So, I have a good bit to talk about. I believe I can talk about it during this little battle right here because I know our team is going to ace everything. Our team is so dang good. So, first off, I'd like to apologize that you guys have not been receiving this series that often. I gotta be honest that I've been putting a lot of effort into the Pokemon Ultra Sun Extreme Randomizer as I want to get that going and, you know, end off 2017 with a blast because I am planning to do three major series this December. So, first off, the first one is Ultra Sun and then a new one will launch each weekend after that until, you know, we're, I'm doing three at one time. So, it's gonna be a bit stressful, so I've been putting a lot of focus into that. That's only mainly because I don't know, like, I got a lot to do, and I have finals next week, but after that finals is done, I should be A-OK. -okay. Biscuit, I need you to stay alive, my friend. That is not what I like to see. You going down from a thrash from a de duo. But, but yes, I am sorry that you guys have not been receiving this series. I plan to, you know, get this done this week. I'm not trying to, like, push this series to the side, but I am going to be honest. I've been really enjoying recording the Ultra Sun Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke, mainly because of the challenge and the thrill of the Extreme Randomizer. I haven't done one in a while, and I do you miss it like this series started off with like such a big bang in the beginning you know and i absolutely loved recording it not that i don't rec love recording it now it's just our team has just gotten so dang good that we just have an ace for everything it doesn't matter if they have a mega or a legendary we still dominate them but, you know, that being said, I do want to win this series. There's no telling with what is ahead. I forgot to ask the comment question, but comment question of the day is, do you believe the Elite Four is going to be a breeze or just a catastrophe? No telling what is going to happen. Let me know in the comment section below to have your... No, this is not, extra, this is not the Extreme Randomizer. I've been recording that lately, so I'm used to saying to have your chance to be random or to be nicknamed, which obviously we're not doing that because this is a... Uh, this is an egg lock, and you guys already have all the nicknames. And that being said, since our team is so dang good, I really don't see me having to go and hatch a lot of eggs right now. I'm not going to put any focus on that. I'm going to put all of my focus into my team getting the experience to make sure we win. But I still might do a live stream. That did some damage. I still might do a live stream of me going around and hatching all the eggs at the end of the series. You know, I think that'd be a lot of fun to see what everybody sent me because I have no idea what y'all sent me. I know that my team is really beastly and we have a lot of good backup Pokemon. And is that it? No, we have a Dratini. Wow, Sylveon, you are literally the MVP of this series though. Like right now, you're just acing everything. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I like, you know, having that advantage and that really dominant team, but I miss struggling. Even with losing Mons in the past two episodes, we lost Blaziken and then Jester. We got Jester back because of the extra life. And uh, wow, we have a Ditto here. Okay, well, uh, let's see here. What could I do to get rid of that? I'll just go to Alex right here. Because if it does transform into Alex, then I can just hit it with a fighting type move and then one shot it anyway. Um,. And I like you being able to use Alex because I haven't been able to this entire series. And it feels good to have him because I, or I'm sorry, her, feels good to have her because I don't know if we're going to get her uh, in the extreme randomizer. Who really knows? That series has already been a struggle. And goodbye, Dido. Uh, Dido. Ditto. Goodbye, Ditto. And that was a pretty easy fight. You kind of let me down, but you're not Serena. So, I mean, I, I guess that's why, Shauna. You've really never been an excellent fighter. Serena always comes through with a legendary or a mega evolved Pokemon or something along those lines. But today, everybody, this might be 
a pretty long episode. Sorry that I have to like keep like swallowing. I just ate a crap ton of cheese. It's because I'm really hungry, but I have to record right now so I can edit through the night and everything because I have this to edit in the extreme randomizer and I want to make sure. Wow, I did not know we battled two right here. And you're going to have six too. I did not remember this. I thought we just fight Shauna. All right. Spoink! I do not like this Pokemon. I do not. And you want to know why? If you've watched my extreme randomizer, you know exactly why I do not like this Pokemon. Rip Gryffindor. Spoilers for anybody that hasn't seen that series yet, which you should definitely go check it out. It has been insane so far. Or, uh, extreme. All right, Psychic, eat that up, Biscuit. You got the special defense of a beast, which I probably should still heal you. I don't want to risk losing anything, and it is a Spoink, which is one of our nemesis now after killing Gryffindor with Metal Burst. That one part in that series really set us in a very struggling moment, so that's why I really am excited to keep going on this series to see what's going to happen, because we are struggling so bad. But all right, Moonblast right here. Goodbye, Spoink. Gotta, you know, avenge Gryffindor for what you did to him. I love how that actually does happen. What are the, like, what are the chances that Tierna pulls out a spoink in the very beginning of this series after that episode just going live? All right, and Arbok. Oh, why did I not switch? What am I doing? What am I doing? No, 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 no. No, unnerve. Well, I'm getting out of here, Biscuit. Get out. We're not even going to risk this. Okay. Uh, I don't have any ground-type Pokemon. Uh, who can I go to to do some damage? I could just go to Gauntlet and Mega Evolve, and that would do something as well. I don't have any ground types. Like, that's my only issue. I need. I wish I could find a good TM, though, for a ground type move. And I really did not remember having to fight Tierna. This might be a really long episode, because what I plan on doing is going through today and, um, you know, battling these trainers right here, battling the 8th gym, and taking on Victory Road to where the next episode we just take on the Elite Four and the Champion to see what they'll have for us. So I, I really don't know how long this episode's going to be. Um... What I'm also, like, planning that I might do is go and, you know, just do the uh, Victory Road off camera, you know, and maybe do a little speed run through or whatever so you guys can see everything because there's really nothing major there. There's one major fight and that's it. I don't know. It depends how long this takes us today. If we can get through this really quick and then take on the 8th gym, it depends how also how hard that 8th gym is going to be because there's no telling. And I really don't even know why I use Play Rough, which is still killed it anyway. It doesn't even matter. Uh, you're not a dragon type there yet, Swablu. What does he got for me? A Primplup. Why? Where are all the legendaries, though? Like, seriously. They've been, like, coming through, and I've already had two major fights today, and we haven't even had one. Or a Mega Evolved Pokemon. That's, why, that's, that's, like, my only chance of having a real bit challenge. Hydro Pump coming from you, my dude. If that was a Napoleon, could do some... Oh, it still did some damage. All right, Gauntlet, you definitely outspeed, so go ahead, land the Night Slash, and we're good. I'm getting a little bit risky right here, though, because if somehow, some way, that miss, Gauntlet could have died. And I cannot lose any Pokemon right now. Like I said, I have a good backup team, but this is the team that I want to go in with the Elite Four because this team is stacked, and I definitely believe we can make it through, probably even without losing a single Mon. That is my goal to end this series off. You know, since we don't have a challenge, let's try to do a no-death Elite Four run. It is a bit easier to do, knowing that there aren't going to be any Pokemon that I don't know what the types are or anything. Because uh, that's going to be insane. Like, in the Extreme Randomizer, I've never randomized it to where it's going to be an Extreme Randomizer and there could be Mega of all Pokemon in it. That's never happened before, so there's no... I don't I don't even know what to expect in the upcoming series. We'll just go to Meme Gator and use Crunch since I... Uh, since our boy Gauntlet is a bit tagged up. But all right, Tierno, you kind of let me down with a fight. I didn't even expect to fight you right here. Do I fight? I don't fight another one right here, do I? I'm done for this because I am I am a bit tagged up, and I want to go ahead and get to the ace of gym. And <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Your boy is a bit hungry right now. I haven't ate since, like, noon. It's almost 8 p.m. right now, so I am really hungry. Uh, but I want to go ahead and record this now, and I'm really excited to see what this Elite Four is going to have. I don't think I'm going to be able to take it on tonight, uh, but I really am excited for that. I can't wait to fight the Elite Four and see if we can win this series because we're just coming, you know, not the last series, but one after that. Or the one before that was a Diamond Extreme Randomizer, and we lost. So, this series has been really challenging in the beginning, so I want to end it off and finish it. Alright, am I good? No, there's no way I fight you two. Do we fight all? I do not remember this. I do not remember fighting all three major, you know, rivals, I guess you could say, in this game. You know, starting with a Paris. You're literally wasting my time with these pathetic battles. Trevor. 
Your only worry is about mega evolution, not mega evolution, like collecting Pokemon for your Pokedex. Why are you even worrying me with a battle right now? I have higher, you know, standards for a Pokemon battle right now. My team is too good. It's still gonna kill you, Paris. Just get on out. Not super effective or anything. Doesn't even matter. Biscuit gain a level. A shield on. All right, well, I guess I'll just go over to Alex. And does Alex have the Lucario Knight? Did I give it to him? I know he didn't originally have it. He had the black belt, or she had the black belt. Sorry, I'm so used to saying he because Alex is our mascot, and he's always a he. Uh, but she, yes, I did. Okay, so we're going to just ace this right here. We're going to use Power of Punch and go through every single one of Trevor's Pokemon and destroy them with Alex. Alex's true power is about to come through. He just really needs, or she just really needs, a good Steel-type move. Get out of here. Oh, I got the Sturdy. That's actually good for me, though, because that means I can boost up my attack twice with you, Metal Burst. Woo! My lord! Alex, Alex, I am just healing. Metal Burst is a terrifying move. The reason I didn't react is because I thought he was a goner. No matter what, he would die. With that, which I don't know the exact reasoning of Metal Burst. I know it does like 1.5 more than your damage or something. So I thought he was gone. Like, I 100% thought he was dead. That's what killed Gryffindor. So we ran into a Spoink and the poke and the move that killed Gryffindor. My god. <laughs> the irony in this episode is insane. I know you're super effective on me, Flareon, but my attack stat is really through the roof right now. Mega Evolve, I really think a Sky Uppercut can kill you. And I have Rock Slide. I could have just used that. It's not going to kill you. Okay, I thought it was going to kill you. His HP was going down a little bit slow. All right, Alex, keep on doing your thing. A Swampert. That's scary. Oh, I'm going to risk it, though. I'm going to risk it. I think Alex can handle this. You're coming through with some good mons. I'm not even going to lie. Let's go. Let's go with a close combat. I'm going to go all out right here. Use protect. Really now? All right. You just go ahead and waste my time. I don't even see why you're doing this to me. Go ahead. Close combat right here. With two attack tats up and a Mega Ball Pokemon. That should kill. Okay, good. I was making sure. Alex is a straight beast. Get out of here, Swampert. You didn't have a Mega Evolution just yet. So you couldn't really be that, you know, reliable for you to take down Alex. All right, come on, Alex. We're going to keep doing it. I know your defense is lowered right now. And Macargo, you keep having mons that can really destroy me, though. Fire types and ground types. I can go at you with a uh, close combat again, though, because you are rocked, though. And as long as we do outspeed, we're going to kill whatever's ahead, unless they have Sturdy or something or a Focus Sash, anything along those lines. All right, so last one. We done fire everybody here in a Cleffa, really? All right, well... That's the last fight here. It's actually, that is our last mod. Okay, I'll just go with the rock slide. Poor little Cleffa didn't do anything to deserve this. And it is going to kill. GG's. I told you, Alec, Alex is too much of a beast to handle. I think, honestly, Alex could ace the entire Elite Four and the Champion by herself. She is a straight beast. And I'm glad we actually get to use her now. All right, so now we're finally done. Unless Serena's just going to climb up from the bottom of the bridge and come up here and fight us as well. Why is the music so sad? Is it because you all lost? Where is Serena? She's off training with the Mega Evolution Guru. Well, I would like to fight her. At least she would put up a challenge. Not one of them. They all had six mons because of the randomizer. Not one of them out of, what is it, six times three. Eighteen Pokemon had a oh, waterfall. Yo, <laughs> I need to get an HM Slay for Surf and give him waterfall or for Alligator because he would be so much better with that than Surf with his, uh, his physical attack. But yeah, like, not one of them had a Legendary or Mega Evolved Pokemon. Let's see here. Not trying to do any more battles right now because our levels are really good. And like I said, I'm not really going to try to catch any Mons right now. Uh, I could do that off cam, or not off cam. I could do that in the live stream, which would be fun. But, all right, let me go ahead and heal up my Pokemon. And then we can't go straight into the gym leaders fight. I actually did a little bit of preparation here. You know, I didn't eat properly. I literally just had me some Cheez-Its. That's all I had to eat. Uh, a little snack before dinner. I also have these right here, which these, if you've never had them, my lord, you're missing out. I eat these all the time. I can't eat them during, like, any recording session or live streams because it makes my mouth, mouth so watery and I have to completely, like, swallow every five seconds and it gets really annoying. But I have potions and everything. Did I even heal my mind up? I was too busy talking about my favorite snacks. Is this... I think this is where I go, right? And if I'm not mistaken, 
I think we can actually avoid any trainers in here. I should have got the bike. This would be a lot faster if I had the bike. Let me see. Then we go left. All right, Dylan. Let's see if your memory can come through. There's a double battle right there, which God knows I don't want to do that. I think you go up. Come on, memory. Serve me right. Oh, no, 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 no. Not trying to battle anybody right now. My team's level is really good. I want some challenge up ahead in this eighth gym. I might need to train before the Elite Four. Oh, I don't remember this one. Do I go down or left? Let's try left first. I don't think that's right. I think I'm going to go back. Oh, man. I done messed up now. Oh. I, okay, I am lost now. I had it memorized like which way to go, and I just completely messed that up. So we'll go down, I think. Nope, this, I don't even know where this is. This is not the place to go. What is this right here, though? Of course I would <laughs> get lost during this. I'm trying to hurry, go ahead and take on the 8th gym. <laughs> of course this is what happens. And I'm not trying to battle anybody right now, so... All right, let's see. Where did I mess up? Where did I go wrong? I think it's when I went left. So let me try going left right here and see where this takes me. All right, so this is right here. I think you go... There it is! All right, there we go. Okay, I didn't get too bad lost. I remember, I haven't played this game in forever, so I had to do a little bit of reviewing before <laughs> going into this. Like, I am really not the most knowledgeable with 5th and 6th gen, if you haven't noticed. Even with me looking stuff up, I'm not knowledgeable, so... Hey, you. You can come on out now. This one's all right. Oh, thank you. I'm glad I'm good enough to see some Pokemon. Sometimes I get worried to come here to check on everyone. Oh, excuse my manners. We haven't had a proper induction yet. The name's Wolfric. I'm usually over at the gym in Snowbell City, since I'm the gym leader and all. Let me guess. You want to challenge me? Yes, that's right. Let's do this thing. My team, you aren't ready for my team. You, you aren't even going to be able to compete. You know, I have so much confidence in this series, it's really probably going to bite me in the butt. Especially if I end up like Asteroid. Actually, can I just... Yes, go ahead and use another. Do I have anybody with Fly? I don't have anybody with Fly, do I? See, I could teach it to you, but you know such good moves, Charizard! I could get... No, I, I want you to have all of these. They're so good. But having Fly would be nice. I might get rid of Fire Fangs, because we do have Fire uh, Flare Blitz, and I have Flamethrower, too. It's just you have Dragon Dance, so we can stack your attack up really good, and your speed. But now I don't even know how to get out of here. I didn't prepare how to get out. The way the one I looked up to see how to do it, he flew out. So I really don't know what I'm doing. Alright, I think I'm just trying to, you know, retrace my steps. So we came down from right here. We're gonna move on back here. No 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 no! Oh, we almost had a double battle right there. I did not want any double battles. I'll take some free experience, but I do not want any double battles because those always screw me up. Alright, I think we're I think we're good. Yeah, we're at the very beginning. Okay. Alright, everybody. It's time to go ahead and take on this eighth gym. I am not nervous the slightest bit. Normally, I'm always getting, like, shivery. I'm shaking because I don't want to lose. I've only lost one lock on YouTube before, so I want to keep my record, you know, nice and good. I'm probably, like, 8-1 and one right now, and I want to keep that up. I don't know why I just use a repel to go into a gym, but all right, everybody. I'm all pumped up. I'm starving my butt off, but I'm ready to see what this man has for us. The eighth gym is upon us. All right, so... Oh god, I should have prepared. I should have prepared on what to do with this puzzle. I don't know what to do with this dang puzzle. And I'm never good at puzzles on the spot. That's why I never like live uh let's play like um what was I about to say? Uh what is it called? Le the Legend of Zelda. Sorry, I just had a brain for it. But I never do le uh, let's plays of Legend of Zelda unless I know exactly what I'm doing. Because I just am so bad at doing stuff on the spot. That's going to do some damage, actually. All right, I see you. You know, that's Stab. If it was a, you know, Eradicate, that could have been pretty dangerous. All right, I can't lose my my Biscuit. Biscuit is actually one of my favorite mods that I've ever had in any series. It's not my favorite evolution, but I love Biscuit. It has been so clutch this en entire series, so I refuse to let Biscuit die in the finale or this episode. There's no way I'm letting that happen. No way. All right, so I'm floored. You only have two mons. I do have a good bit of potions and stuff. Let's go ahead and use Flamethrower, and then we'll be good. All right. I love how we get to use Charizard, though. Like, that makes me... That did not kill? A Sun Flora just lived that? Why does everybody have Double Edge, too? 
All right, go ahead and kill yourself, though. But everybody has double edge. I don't know why, but everybody does. All right, good job, Blockness. I don't know how that some floor just ate up that flamethrower from you. <laughs> no idea. You have great special attack. But all right, let's do this. And let's see that. Let's see. Does this do it? No, I can't go over to the other one. Uh, but I can go over here. But that blue one turns... Actually, can I not do this? I don't... I don't know if I can do- I did not heal Biscuit. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but I'm doing it this way. Because I'm sure there's some, you know, perfect way you can do it. Alodios! And it is a Mega! And Biscuit is weak! Alright, this is scary. Biscuit's tagged up. I don't know what to do here. If normally, if Biscuit was healed, I'd be A-okay. Use a Moonblast and that thing would be gone! Oh, what do I do? Biscuit's my main mod to go ahead and take on Dragon types, so... Zen headbutt. How, that's, yo, that's, that's physically defensive and stab. Oh, okay. That did not do as much as I was expecting. Okay, so we can definitely live another hit from that. Go ahead, Moonblast. Can this one shot? All right, no crits, no crits. I did 70 damage without crit. Biscuit, my girl. I love you. Kill, come on, one shot right here. No, it's not going to one shot. Oh, God. Mm, yeah, I'm switching. I'm switching. I'm switching. Uh, let's go. It's using Zen headbutt, so I'm going to go to Gauntlet. All right, Gauntlet, you can take this out with a Night Slash easily. And it's going to use Zen Headbutt, not affect me, and then I can finish it off. It did go with the Zen Headbutt again. Sweet. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Night Slash. That's going to be enough. I don't even need a Mega Evolve. A use Recover. Never mind. Maybe I do need to heal up right here. Not heal up. Maybe I do need a Mega Evolve. Nope, because Gauntlet is a beast. That was a crit, but who cares? Gauntlet always comes through. Oh, man, I love Gauntlet. Absol's actually always been one of my favorite Pokemon, too. And you go from a Lati... A Lati was it Latios or Latias? You go from that to a Poochiana. I love that. All right, go ahead and finish this off. Good job. I'm so glad Biscuit did not die. That was way too risky. I don't even know why my brain didn't realize to go ahead and go to Gauntlet when it's using Zen Headbutt. I just assumed a Moonblast would kill. Uh, but that was risky, because if that was a crit, I would have died. I would have died. You've frozen my heart solid. Well, thank you for a good bit of cash. I'm telling you guys, this game just really loads you up. But all right, does this turn this one right? Okay, sweet. So, that's not the one we want to do. That's not the one we want to do. Well, oh, that one works. So, no, well, I got to go. I'm stuck this way, though. Oh, crap. I, I think I know what I got to do. I'm not sure how to do this puzzle at all, so I'm going to try this one more time. It needs to be where it can connect there. <sighs> that doesn't do anything, though. That doesn't help me. All right, I don't know. If I if I keep getting lost, I'll cut, because we got to make sure we get to the next side. And that, none of these do it except one of them. We made it across, and now... All right, do I just got to go over here? Oh, I got to move that green one. But I assume I definitely got to move both. Okay, Team Flare. It's La Sandre. What do you got, my friend? What do you got? A shift tree. Okay. What do I got out front? Did I heal? I didn't heal Biscuit, did I? I don't think I healed Biscuit. And Biscuit would be just fine for this. And no, I didn't. What do you know? Biscuit is almost dead. The levels are pretty high, so the uh, the actual uh, gym leader has to have at least level 60s. A couple or something. Maybe not high 60s, but they are going to be level 60s. It has Leaf Storm. I have great special attack, though. Okay, sweet. Yeah, our special defense. Sorry. We are going to eat that up. It is going to lower its special attack. So now all we got to do is use a Moon Blast, and we are good. So, all right. So I think I got to fight both people, if I'm not mistaken. Razor Leaf is a little bit more tempting, or a little, a little bit more terrifying. That should be a one-shot on Shift Street. It is. Okay. I wish Shift was a little bit more powerful. I wish Shift would have got a Mega Evolution and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. That would have been really awesome. I love that Pokemon. It's just not that powerful. It looks so cool, and it's from my favorite region, so it is kind of sad that it, you know, isn't more powerful. I have, like, a third evolution. A third evolution I would also take. Okay, 3DS, don't do that. Uh, all right. I, I have a little bit of issues with my 3DS lately because it wants to, like, mess up, which it is, like, halfway broken, if you can kind of tell. I've showed it before, but it is falling apart, and I probably should invest some money into another capture card. It's just I'd have to hack it and everything to where I can actually use uh, the, you know, randomizers and stuff because you have to do a lot of stuff with that, and I don't know how to really do it again. So that's why I haven't done that. Otherwise, I would have put some money towards that. Skyapricot is going to be enough to kill it, and there we go. All right. 
So now what else we got to do? We're actually probably not going to be that long of an episode. I think I can get through Victory Road pretty quick. It depends how long it's going to take me to figure out this puzzle and how long it's going to take me to fight this gym leader. Try using Ice Beam. Well, okay. All right, let's move this one. All right, so that does it, but then I got to go back through here. God, how am I supposed to get across there? Can I? I can't cross that way. Okay, let me think here. All right, so I got to get over to that other switch, obviously. So can I get up through here? I can. Okay, now let me step on this, which, yeah, I got to battle this person. Because I got to make it to where I can cross over right there on the yellow and get over to the green. I, I don't know, but what do you got? Snover? I think, actually, you're okay, Biscuit. I know I didn't heal you, but I think you're all, all good, which I'll go ahead and just switch over to Loch Ness. And then I'll try to remember to heal you, which, before the actual gym fight, I will go back to the Pokemon Center and visit Nurse Joy and heal up and everything. Make sure we got plenty of items because we have so much money right now, and then we'll be good to go. All right, Snowbird, what are you going to do to me? You know, you can use an ice move to do some damage on Loch Ness. My phone is blowing up right now. I just keep feeling the vibration. <laughs> All right, what do you use? Ingrain? Planted some roots. Well, you're going to die in one shot. <laughs> I could use, like, Ember from this guy right here, and you would die, Snover. The poor quad weakness, my friend. All right, unless you had the Focus Sash or something, you're gone. All right, so one down. They only had two Pokemon, and, and then we were good. All right, this has been a pretty, you know, close call for some... Ikirim. Oh, my lord. See, what I'm saying. I need Biscuit. I really need Biscuit for this. I guess I could go to Alex and Mega Evolve, but Karim could do some damage to me, and I don't want to lose Alex right here. But I don't know. I think that'll work. I think I'll just go for a power-up punch up out first. Has pressure. I don't want to go for a close combat because it could bite me in the butt, you know, and hurt my, you know, lower my defense and everything. So we are going to Mega Evolve right here. I don't think he can one-shot me. There's no way... That he can one-shot Alex. I don't think so. Dragon Pulse. I think we can eat that up. We're steel. Yeah, there's no way that's going to kill me. It did do a decent amount of damage, but nothing that we can't handle. Power Punch is not going to kill, but that's okay. It does raise my attack. So one more is all right. Um, a crit making me nervous. I'm healing. I'm healing. I'm not losing Alex like this. It, it does outspeed me, and a Dragon Pulse crit would kill me right here. Plus the snow, snow you know, hurt me and everything. Not even going to risk it. We're going to heal. And it used scary face. So I could have went I could have went ahead and, you know, finished it off, but I did not expect that. When it outspeeds me anyway, no idea why it did that. Alright, so now we're definitely good. Not a crit or anything's gonna kill me. Alright. Just making sure we're okay. I refuse to lose any mons right now. I need everything for the next episode. Alright, power up punch, and you're dead, Kiram. Alright, so that's been two legendaries for today, right? Yeah, a lot of you, so it was a mega and a legendary. That should count as two, honestly. That's a mega legendary. So we've actually, like, faced three. We'll say that. And now we're done. Alright, GG's. You've gotten by blood boiling now. I think the ice is gonna melt. Wow, that's so corny. <laughs> okay. Alright, so now let's go ahead and step on the switch and see if I can figure out how I'm gonna do this. So let me see this. Does it make it to where I can cross both? It does. So I think that's what I need to do. Is this all going to reset when I go back in the Pokemon Center? It it might. But I can go ahead and take them on now. You know what? I might just go ahead and go into it. I'll think on it in a second. We're going to take a break, though, right before this gem fight and have today's United Bonus Round. Welcome to the United Bonus Round. In the previous episode, we heard the following Pokemon cry. This was none other than the Pokemon Tauros. Now, answer the following Pokemon to cry correctly to send United Gamer a challenge or a bonus in an upcoming episode. Ten of you must get this correct to complete this bonus round. <coughs> Let's get back in the video. All right, everybody. I did not go and heal, actually. I have enough potions and everything. I think we're good. And I got Jester out front, you know. Jester hasn't been getting that much love and everything. And he died in the last episode. He's been resurrected. He needs to be used. You know what? Ice is both extremely hard and terrible fragile at the same time. You know what that means? Depending on which Pokemon you choose and what moves they use, I could be your most challenging opponent yet, or I could be a total pushover. But that's alright. That's how it should be. Anyway, enough of my rambling. Let's get this show on the road. Alright, I love how he just smacks his belly, and then we get into this fight. Alright, the 8th gym, Wolfric. Come through right here, my dude. What do you have for me in my last gym fight? 
a Marowak. That's one of my favorite mods. Jester, I messed up with having you out here. We gotta get you out. Uh, but I love Marowak. Level 61 is the first level. These levels are gonna get up there. Probably 10 higher than us. That is what I like to see. I like some challenge. All right, Marowak. I love you, and I feel sad. If you have a thick club on right now, this could be a little bit... It's double edge. Everybody is using double edge. Luckily for us, you don't have stab or anything, and a surf should do a good bit of damage right here, honestly. Can we get a one-shot? We cannot. See, we really need to teach him waterfall and get an HM slave for surf, because this is really unfortunate for him. Go ahead, surf. Get on out of here. Good job, Marowak. I'm sorry. We gotta kill you, though. All right, one down, five more to go. I love Marowak, though. I, I wish another Pokemon that I think uh, could, could be really good. The Alolan form is really good with Lightning Rod and everything. A Shinx. Come on! You gotta do better than that, my dude. Come, please come through. This is my last gym fight. You gotta have something up your sleeve. At least have a Luxray. But uh, the Alolan Marowak is really good. Like, when I've been Wi-Fi battling with you guys, you know, in the live streams and everything. And I actually use him. You know, he's a really awesome Pokemon. But go ahead. Use an Ice Slash on a level 64 Shinx. <laughs> you didn't think to evolve him there, Wolfric. Come on, my man. You know better than this. You're a gym leader. All right, go ahead. Use an Ice Slash. I am going to go ahead and Mega Evolve with Gala. I think it's a very powerful mind to go ahead and sweep this guy with, which I will switch out if I need to, but let's see. And Malamar. All right, well, um, honestly, Gauntlet would be good, and he can't do anything to Gauntlet. You know, I could go over to... Wow, 68! Are they actually going to get him to level 70s? Actually, I have Play Rough for you. I was going to say, I could go over to Sylveon with, you know, Fairy. But we have Play Rough right here, which is not going to kill. No! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Gauntlet. That's why you went to him. That's why you ate a Malamar. I was not expecting that. I wasn't. You didn't have stabs. Still killed me. Oh. <laughs> My gauntlet is gone. Oh, that hurts us for this Elite Four. Man, that hurts us. That's a good type coverage and good damaging mon that we just lost. I don't know who to replace him with. Maybe a ground type mon just to have that. Wolfric, why did you do this to me? I wanted some challenge, not a death. Wow, that sucks. That's a that's a dagger right there. I mean, I have Crunch with Meme Gator for the d uh, dark coverage, but Gauntlet has been so good. It's so sad to see him die. I should have switched over to Sylveon, but I did not expect him. I didn't like he has you know Psychic and Dark, whatever. I didn't expect him to have superpower. My lack of knowledge of the game, I guess, but oh my gosh! Alright, alright, uh, Biscuit, let's see what you're made of right here. Let's see what you're made of. Like, thank God it's not a Mega, that would be bad. You know, this back, that's so funny! We fought one in the first gym, and we're finding another one now here in the eighth gym! Alright, Rayquaza, let's see what you can do. I bet my Biscuit handles you, though. I got confidence. Dragon Dance. Alright, boost your attack and speed. That's a little bit terrifying, but you shouldn't have anything for Sylveon. And honestly, this Moonblast, I hope, can kill you in one hit. It's going to. Biscuit is so good! Oh, man. I, all right, Rayquaza. You're not much of a threat when we have Biscuit on our side. And a Furfra. Okay. Uh, go back over to Alex and hit it with a Sky Epica. I am still mad about losing Gauntlet. That is three episodes in a row of losing Pokemon, and I don't have an extra life or anything. What do we roll today? A Blessed Egg. Nope. I don't have anything to bring him back. You know, he might get it in the Elite Four. You never really know, because we roll one before each fight. But I don't know if I should do that or go and get another mine high-leveled up and stuff. I really don't know which route I should take. I don't know who I would replace him with. Maybe we have the cue ball and we can get a Marowak, get that ground type coverage, which would be good, because we don't have anything for that. Uh, I mean, do we have do we have anybody that knows a ground type move? I don't think we do. God, Gauntlet had so much type coverage. Play rough, Zen Headbutt, Night Slash, and he can Mega Evolve. Why did you have to do this to me, Wolfric? It wasn't even a legendary and it killed me. Uh, the levels were higher, and we just lost Gauntlet. We still have a great team. Like, I'm confident. 
and taking on the Elite Four, I really think we'll win. It's just, man, I didn't see that coming. I should have trusted my gut and went over to Sylveon. A biscuit is an MVP. Would have ate that superpower. There's no way he would have had anything for Sylveon. Oh, man. I mean, it's too much. So it's, it's no point in worrying about it now. Well, thanks for fixing everything so I could just walk all the way back. It would have been nice to have that in the beginning. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and head back. So it, it hasn't been that- wow, that is so slow. I gotta watch this. Um, but we are gonna go ahead and take on Victory Road. It hasn't been that long of an episode. You know, 30 plus minutes. It'll probably get up around 50 minutes. As long as I can do it pretty quickly. Unless we have anything else major to do and I'm forgetting. There's a future champ I know and love. Looks like you've trumped oh, our old gym leader. It's never a bad thing to test the limits of your strength. Am I right or am I right? And since you're a star, I guess that means you're off to the Pokemon League. Is that Wolfer coming? It is. You know what? You have all the gym or you have all the gym badges now. So there's only one thing left to do. It's time for you to head off to the Pokemon League. Listen up now. Trust in your Pokemon, and there's no limit to what you can achieve. Well, I just lost one of my best ones. I still think Biscuit is our best, but man, that's a dagger. That's two Mega Evolve Pokemon we've lost. That's two. All right, so I gotta sit here and think about who I should train up. Now that's gonna suck. Like I try, to, I'm trying to get the finale out by this Saturday. Um, so it'll be good and, you know, it could be on a weekend for everyone to watch. Uh, go ahead and use another one, because, you know, we gotta go ahead and go to the Victory Road anyway. Which I probably should buy some more of everything. But let me go ahead and put up Gauntlet. <laughs> we have a Tyranitar that- no, 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 we don't have Tyranitar. That was our, uh, catch, um, at the, uh, that's something we can hatch, though. We could hatch something for that Tyranitar. And that might be really good, because, you remember, it gets to level 50. That's not bad. Gauntlet, we're gonna go ahead and put you- do, where's my dead box? I don't even know where it is. Dead. We have had so little deaths in this series. Where's Blaziken? Blaziken's supposed to be in here. But, um, so we have Cubone. Oh, we got Dragon. But that would take so long to train up. And that has that dark coverage, though. Hydreigon would be good. Hatching something for Tyranitar would be good. Let me go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and hatch something for Tyranitar. It gets level 50. Let's see, what- I don't even know what box we are. I think we're repeating box- we're at box- yeah. So, wait, no, two? So we've had only- we've had three here. We've only had two at box two, but we've had three there. That must have been we had a repeat. So we must be at box two. Uh, I don't have the die, so I don't have the die downloaded because my phone broke. So what I'll do is I'll just, like, look away. And just randomly end on something. Alright, so- Brandon V3! What could this be? Yo, we had Brandon V2! Brandon V2 was the Blaziken! So, Brandon V3. I actually- that must be the same person who sent that. That's very lucky that you've gotten two eggs hatched. I mean, I love to wait. Yeah, I don't have the die roller on my phone because it crashed and I had to reset it. So I lost all my apps and everything, so I don't have the die roller re-downloaded. But, Brandon V3! What are you gonna be? Something good to replace Gauntlet, something good to replace Gauntlet, please. For Gauntlet's sake, come on, baby, come through. It gets to level 50, it gets to level 50. Yo, I said, Tile, that's not bad. I like Trico. Wait, did you just send me all three starters from Hoenn? <laughs> that could have been it, but I don't know if that's where I really need to go. <sighs> I don't really need a grass type. I really don't. But Brandon V3, I wonder if you did, you can get, whoever sent these, can you let me know if you just sent me all three starters from Hoenn, which is, that's fine with me. I mean, I don't, yeah, it would have been better to get Trico than a Mudkip, because I definitely don't need a Water type. Um, I don't know who I'm going to use. I'm going to put Marowak on our team. If I could use that Tyranitar, that would be so clutch, but that was, you know, encounter. That wasn't an egg hatch, <laughs> especially because it has a Master Ball used on it. But, um, let me go over to my use box. Hydreigon would be good too, but I have to get his level up so high that would take so long. And Sands. I'm gonna put Sands on for right now. And alright, so we're gonna go ahead and take on Victory Road. You know, I, I I let me know if you make it through this entire episode. You know, I I'm okay if you leave the episode right now. We have two hundred thousand dollars. That's what I'm saying. Look how many full restores I can buy. I I can buy 50 full restores and it barely makes a dent in me. That's what I'm saying. You don't need to worry about this game. I haven't even been doing that much off-camp training, and I have this much money. And let me go ahead and buy uh, about 50 max repels, and then that's about all I really need. And I have full heals, 
I'll buy 10 more, why not? We still got $35,000. That's so... <laughs> this game gives you way too much money. I can't even imagine if you actually battled around and did stuff that way. Like, there's no telling how much money you would have. But alright, so Victory Road is up through here, right? I hope... I don't remember exactly what I'm supposed to do here, but I think it's this way. And, uh... Oh man, I'm so- I don't even- like, I always get so speechless whenever I lose an important mon like that. Like, it always makes me, like, kind of just not know what to say. We're just gonna s NOT sneak on by you! Okay, I've been battling Pokemon partners, I don't even know what you said. Like I said, I, I am falling apart. We're fighting the gym leader yet again. I'm falling apart right now, everybody! <laughs> oh man, alright, Jester, you know, we, we got you good out here, my dude. Yo, level 60. These levels, they are definitely going to be in the 70s in the Elite Four and the Champion. This could be really challenging. I think I need to grind. I think I need to. Which, that wouldn't be that hard to train up that Hydreigon. And having that Dragon and Dark type would be so good for us. We don't have a Dragon and we don't have a Dark type. So, yo, a Giratina! <laughs> See, right now, we can use that Dark and Dragon, which, you know, that'd be super effective on us. So, yeah, we're definitely going to go over to Biscuit. That is our third legendary for today. All right, Biscuit. This could definitely be an hour of power episode. So uh, I hope that's all right with you guys. Because I don't want a little short episode doing the victory road. And I definitely don't want to do that before taking on the Elite Four. We want to get right into the meat of it, you know, whenever we're taking on the victory road. Shadow Force. Of course you're going to do something like that. That should definitely not one-shot me. You are a Giratina, but I think Biscuit can be okay. And a Moonblast can hopefully kill you. Oh, let's go, Biscuit. That has a lot of damage, though. I don't- I just might not one-shot you. Nope, you're so bulky. Oh, uh, what do I do here? What do I do? It's gonna use Shadow Force again. I could go over to Meme Gator so he can take the hits a little bit better and then use Crunch. And I don't know if Crunch is gonna kill. Wait, I don't know. Are you gonna use Shadow Force again? You probably are. And you're gonna outspeed me, so... Yeah, okay. No, wait, what did he use? He did use Shadow Force. Okay. That's fine. That actually really helps me because that gives me a time to not take a hit. And go ahead. Oh, wow. I have speed. Okay. Oh, man. That's risky. If Crunch doesn't kill... If Crunch does not kill, he dies. What else could... See... What else could I do, though? I don't know what else I could do. Lockness. I go to Lockness. I can Mega Evolve. I don't want to lose Meme Gator. I don't know. If, I don't think a Crunch will kill. He doesn't have Stab. Yo, why does he outspeed me this time? That makes no sense! Alright, well, I don't know what to do here. I guess I could heal. I have so many forest storms. <laughs> I have so many, but... I guess I could heal right now. Let the Shadow Force come through. I... And then I guess I could heal again if I'm gonna- If he- If he's gonna outspeed me, that's okay. That's- I, I would rather that. Go ahead and use it again. I'll use a max potion before we start using all our full restores. I don't even need that many at all. <laughs> but why not? You know, it's useless money anyway. Alright, he's gonna keep using that. I swear to god, if Crunch outspeeds, I'm gonna be a little bit mad. Because it doesn't need to. Let's go ahead. Use Crunch right here. Do not outspeed. Stop outspeeding! Why are you outspeeding now? I don't know what to do. Because whenever I attack first, I don't outspeed. There we go. I don't know why I didn't before. It's not going to kill. Oh, man. At least he's not using... Like, if he's like Dragon Call or something, Meme Gator probably would have died. Oh, this is so risky. <laughs> I don't know what else to do, though. This is my only bet right here. This is my only thing that I can do. Is keep doing this. Unless I'm not thinking of something right now. Okay, no crits. Okay, now please outspeed with the crunch. That is going to kill as long as you outspeed. Let's go, Meme Gator. Let's go. I was so nervous about a crit and he outsped. I can't lose two mons. Giratina, please stop. You are way too bulky to be taken down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Straight struggling. I asked for it. I mean, I asked for it. I'm putting all this on myself. <sighs> but we didn't lose anything. That's okay. And that fight should have been avoided. That's wasting my time. And we're not even at the victory road yet. I might should just go ahead and cut off right now and then do a speed run of it, you know? And then just put, like, a speed thing of me going through it. I, I don't know, but there is that one major fight where you fight your rival in the middle. 
I could have went around. I could have went around. No, we have a double battle. We have a freaking double battle. Oh, I'm not thinking straight right now. We have a double battle right here. Please, nothing major. Torterra. Oh, my God. That could do some damage. The fur fry, I'm not really that worried about. I have Jester. And oh, I have Lockness, though. That Torterra can't do anything to me. Now, Jester, it could definitely do something to him. I, I absolutely outspeed. So, what I'm going to do is just go for a Flare Blitz on this Torterra, and I'm going to Volt Switch. I'm just getting him out of here. Not even going to risk him taking that Earthquake, because I know that's what he's going to go for. He might even hurt his own Mon, so... Um, let's see. He has to be going for an Earthquake, right? So I can't go over to Alex. I'm afraid to go to Meme Gator, because if you use, like, Leaf Storm or something, that's going to kill me. But Biscuit doesn't have good defense. I don't know who I should go to. <laughs> uh, see, if I go to... I think Biscuit can live one. I gotta go to Biscuit... Just in case, because I'm so scared if he uses Leaf Storm or not. And I think a Flare Blitz will kill this thing. Oh, no, it won't. It's raining. It won't. It's raining. That's going to hurt my fire attack. That sucks. All right. Um, Please don't use Earthquake. I don't think it'll kill. Nope. Definitely not. My gosh, that did nothing. It used Crunch. I was not expecting that, but I can eat that. That's fine. You don't have Stab or anything. All right. Well, what I'm going to do... I'm going to go ahead and Moon Blast this for a frow, and then I am just going to go ahead and Mega Evolve and use a Flare Blitz again. That should kill with the Mega Evolution. Okay. Trying to play this as smart as I can. I hate double battles. They always screw me over. But I think this is my best bet, and the Flare Blitz won't kill me. As long as I can kill that fur frow and it doesn't do anything. It did avoid the attack, too. That was clutch. That should kill. That should definitely kill. It did. Okay, sweet. Whew. Got a little bit nervous, but we're okay. We're still in this thing. That's going to take some damage, but this Moonblast should definitely kill. I'm so glad that takedown didn't land, but no, it went to Biscuit anyway. If that didn't go to Biscuit and it landed on Lochness, that could have killed Lochness. All right, go ahead, Moonblast. Get this thing out of here. That should definitely kill. There's no way that doesn't kill. Okay. Biscuit's always a beast with its special attack. It's just always defense is what makes me nervous. Like, if I ever think something comes at me with, like, Steel Wing or something like that, something as simple as that, that's really scary. See, they're giving me $12,000! That's so much. I'm going to, like, walk so I can avoid any trainers. Let me go ahead and heal because I am struggling out here. All right, we're still okay. We're not even at Victory Road yet. We're just fighting people up ahead, which I need the experience. I just don't want this episode to be too dang long. I have to edit this one and Extreme Randomizer tonight. So, and I think we battle you, don't we? I'm almost certain. We're at Victory Road, but I'm certain we battle you. I might do a speed run of it. That might be the best bet. All right, so we got here, an Alma Star. All right, well, I got Jester out front, so we can handle this just fine. It's already almost been a 50-minute episode, so I'm, I, I don't know how you... Wow, level 61. These levels are getting really up there. Uh, I just don't know how you guys are going to react to a super, super long episode of just us not really doing anything. Victory, or, I mean, Elite Four is understandable, because at least you're doing something really exciting and stuff. But this... It's just, it's, it's not really interesting, <laughs> especially when we're destroying everything right now, but it has been a little bit challenging. At least that's something. All right, go ahead. So now Clink, um, and I'll just go with the Flare Blitz. There's no way that Clink should have anything for me. If it doesn't kill, I'm going to be sad. Okay, it does. The only reason I don't Mega Evolve is because it takes more time to watch the dang cutscene. That's the only reason I don't. All right, and your last one is a Matang. Okay, so I'll just keep you out here. Oh, man. So we're, we're okay. A Metagross. Yo, shout out to... Uh, oh, I can't even say that. I'm not even going to say that because that could be a spoiler just in case you haven't seen it yet. So I'm just going to just scratch that. Um, what I was about to say. But you, all I'm going to say is you should definitely be watching the Extreme Randomizer because it's been freaking hype so far. All right, there we go. Hey, it's Sumerabi. That's my boy. A friend in real life, actually. All right, so now we're finally, finally, 50 minutes later at the Victory Road. This this is so epic, honestly. Like, just seeing these on the side. How cool would that be to have, like, a theater room like that and have all the gym badges on the wall? Like, that would be so freaking cool. Like, I never, ever expect to be rich, and I really never even care to be rich. But if I was, I'm not saying I wouldn't have a room like that. That would be awesome. 
I would never ever really plan to have like a mansion if I was rich. I don't want to speak for myself because I, I guess you can never say until you're in that moment. But I, I just would feel so guilty having a when like there's so much like poverty in the world when you could give so much and have like a 10 bedroom house when you have one kid like that. Just I don't know. That just never made sense to me. But I guess you can spend your money however you want. Sorry if anyone out here is a millionaire. If you're a millionaire, watch this video. That's that's pretty cool. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. Never even thought about that. All right. So victory road. I think this battle is inevitable. I guess we're just gonna do it. If you don't want to watch, you don't have to. I, you don't have to feel obligated to watch. But if you do watch it, let me know. I would really like to know if you watch this entire episode because that is really awesome. You are the real MVP. And it's for Gauntlet. Smack that like button for Gauntlet. All right, let's go, Jester. Hand a call. <laughs> Level 66. I got to train. I have to grind. A little swirl. God, I'm scared to take this Elite Four or this Victor Road on. This is actually really terrifying. Level 66. What is the Elite Four and Champion gonna be at? Like 75, 80? Oh my gosh. I have been so confident about winning this series, but I'm a little bit nervous now. If they have a lot of Megas and Legendaries, we could struggle so bad. Like a Giratina would just put up a fight right there. That's not even a Mega. Oh, man, I don't know if I have all the HMs I need for this. I need something with strength. All right, I don't... Do we need something with Waterfall? I think we do. Strength. I have nobody with strength. I'll go ahead and teach this to Sans. I think I'm actually going to go with Hydreigon. I think I'm going to put in the effort to get him because I want to win this series more than anything. Um, you already know really good moves. Ancient Power, we can get rid of that. That's special. You don't even need that. And strength isn't even that bad for you, you know? All right, so we need strength. I think we need rock smash. Do I, I know I don't have, I don't even have rock smash. Do I? No, I don't. I don't think you might. I don't know if you need it or not. I know you can use it to get around stuff. I hope you don't need it. I don't even know where you get rock smash in this game. All right, so I need surf. And I think I need waterfall, though. That's the issue. And I don't want to take anything away from meme gator. Can anybody else learn surf? That actually might be not bad for Jester to learn surf. So you know what? I might do that. I mean, I wish I could delete an HM for this. I don't want to have to go all the way to the move deleter. Parabolic charge, we never use that. And we'll just go ahead and teach you surf. We never use parabolic charge. I mean, thunderbolt is all you really need. All right, there we go. It'd be really bad if I deleted the wrong move. And um, I guess I can teach you water. I do not want to get rid of anything that you have, though. Crunch is good. Ice Fang is good. Surf, I don't need from you. What's your other one? Metal Claw. We don't need Metal Claw. We never use Metal Claw. And it's a fairy type. We'll figure something else out. I just... <laughs> I'm really lazy. And I, I've i been recording for an hour. And I'm literally dying to go eat right now. I'm so hungry. So, excuse me of being lazy right now. But I really... I'm, like, a little bit frazzled with what happened to Gauntlet. But, alright. Let me go slow. See, this is where Rock Smash could come in handy. We could go around this guy, but that's alright. We need the experience anyway. My god, we're so under-leveled right now. It's ridiculous. We're probably like 15 levels under when it comes to the Elite Four. 15 levels! God, I have to train. I gotta get him up to level 60 at least. Level 60, maybe 65. Even that's probably under-leveled. Um, let me go use Toxic. That's annoying. I have Anodos and Full Health, but that is kind of annoying. Uh, we'll just go over and go over to Loch Ness and Mega Evolve and just try to get around this guy. Wow, that did some damage. I literally could just use Thunderbolt for you. I really don't know Skullpeed's exact uh, stats or anything. I think it's a really cool Pokemon. I really do like that Pokemon. I just never have used it, actually. I've never been... That's one thing I've never, like... I should probably do better at in Pokemon games is I've never been really diverse. And a little, like, a little side note. Why does everything have double edge? We have been hit by that like 10, 15 times a day's episode. But like I was saying, is I would, I've never been really that diverse in using a lot of unique and different Pokemon. I've always simply used normally this, not the same mods, but like, you know, popular mods. And I really should mix that up more. And Mary, like I said, we don't have any dragon types. And I can't <laughs> I literally cannot speak. We don't have any ground type Pokemon. Ground types. All right. That's what happens when I don't eat. No, nothing, no, my body just does not function at all. All right, let's go, Mary. I can handle you just fine. I'll just go with a close combat. Like I think I can one shot you, Mary. Does Mary have static? I I don't remember. I right, go ahead and lower my defenses. That's fine. 
All right, so we have one more Mon. What do you got for me, though? Yeah, can I keep Alex out here? Hey, Vivian, no. I'll just go back over to Loch Ness. And there's no way that can do anything to me. I'm trying to think if there's any other, like, fights that we have to do in this Elite Four. I know there's a few. Or not Elite Four, Victory Road. Because so we have that major double battle. Or not double battle. We have the major rival battle up ahead. Other than that, we should be set. I'm going to go with Flamethrower. I'm not even going to risk using Flare Blitz and that not killing and killing me. I think, okay, yeah. I think a Flamethrower could kill. All right, there we go. Easy enough. We know we're not doing too bad, even though we are pretty underleveled. It's only when they have, like, one major mon. I don't know how that rival battle is going to be up ahead. That's pretty scary. Give me a berry. That's that's sweet of you. Thank you. All right, let's keep moving on, though. All right, now let me, so let me go. I'm going to walk. We're having an encounter because I'm too low of a level. A, vis, a Vespa Queen. Okay. Um, level 58, and it has pressure. I don't even know what to do here. I could use... I don't... I guess I could just try and catch it. I don't think... I, Victory... I mean, Vespa Queen can do some damage to me, so I gotta be careful. But I'm gonna try to catch it. This is my encounter, so I might need it. And it's a really high level. I could have something really good for this, which... My gosh! The luck! The first Ultra Ball! That is awesome! What level was that? That could be clutch. If we could have something really good... That's a high level. I might need to go back in those uh, routes and catch stuff. I really might need to. Because we just caught a Vespa Quinn, and that was a great level. I might need to do that. With losing Gauntlet... No, no, no. Oh my God. I want to scream, Dylan. Stop being so stupid. And we're fighting a team for... You only have one mod, though. You only have one mod. And it's a Volby. Okay. All right, well, I'm sorry. I'm trying to avoid fights. I've been recording for an hour. I'm delirious. I've lost a mon today. I don't know what's going on in my life. All right, go ahead, Thunderbolt. I I, I am going to be in shock if somebody literally makes it this entire episode. You have an amazing ten, uh, attention span. It's almost like a freaking movie, if you really think about it. You've been watching me with, like a time where you can watch an entire movie. That's just crazy, which we're not like an hour and a half yet, but... I don't even think we'll get that far. Okay. We're making it through here. Let me go ahead and use that full heal on Jester, though. Um, let me see here. Full heal. And let's go ahead and heal up Lochness, too. And, all right. Now I'm going to keep trying my best to avoid trainers. I just don't remember the exact route to take. So, all right. Let's see. Why do you got to do this to me? I already have my encounter. What are you going to be, though? An actual... Isn't it actually a Firo? Is that a static encounter? That's a static encounter. That's why. All right, well, just in case I can't run away, <laughs> eat a Thunderbolt, Firo. That's what you get for trying to interrupt me. You're going to die from Jester. That's some decent experience, though. You're level 59. There we go. That's actually a good place we could train right here. And have we even got a lucky egg in this series? That would be so nice. All right, let me just try to walk so I don't run into anything that I don't have to. I know that's not as fast, but I'm going to try to avoid as many fights as I can, and I'll save those for off-cam fights. Okay, so I think we can avoid you, and I'm almost certain you go down the middle. Alright, I think that's the exact- I think that's the way to go. Why do you got to do this to me? Why do you got to keep interrupting me? I thought my game froze, because it wouldn't let me move. And he was kind of oh, a little Noibat. Alright, Noibat, I should, should definitely be able to run away from you, so let me go ahead and just get on out of here. Level 50! These levels are so high. Who's my highest level? I need to put them at the front so we don't run into any encounters. I know those don't really matter. Um, but for any up ahead, it might. Let me put Biscuit out front. Go ahead and switch you up here, Biscuit. We'll put you in front of Jester. We, sh we can still run into stuff higher than Biscuit, though. And I think I got to go up through here. How am I still running into stuff? The levels are so high here. A Gligar. What are the levels here? My god, it's gonna be up to like level 60. Alright, level 58. Okay, wow, man. You know what? I honestly just want to kill this thing, just in case I can maybe get 58. Has guillotine! Get out, Biscuit! Get out, get out, get out! I'm not even gonna risk this. Please kill us or something, please. No, 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 no. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Thank you. Oh, I hate... <laughs> I'm stressed out. Well, I just cut that fight. There's no point in you even seeing that, and I went all the way up here for a freaking Carbos. 
All right, well, maybe I don't know where I'm going. We're gonna just have to do a lot of sharp cuts in here because I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm about to use some rare candies just so I cannot run into stuff every second. Pelper, please leave me alone. Biscuit needs to just get out of here. All right, so we're, we're making our way through here. We're doing all right. Come on, Cubone, push it, buddy. Push it on over there. And uh, if you guys remember, we got a rare candy back in the last city. Or not Snowbell, but the one before that. We got a rare candy up there by the benches. So I went ahead and used that one because it's technically not one sent in by you guys or, you know, to use for the eggs. So I used that one on Sylveon so we could stop encountering stuff. Now Sylveon is level uh, 59. So now we shouldn't encounter anything. I don't think there's any level 60s here. So we can actually just keep progressing on. So now... If I'm not mistaken, here is where the rival battle is. It's right up here, and I think this trainer heals, maybe. Yes, it does. There we go. Sweet. I mean, I have a billion full restores anyway, but I think my Moonblast is low. And, um... All right, so this is the last major thing that's going to happen in this episode. We got a battle Serena right here, which Serena always comes through with an exciting fight. So I will be shocked if she doesn't come in here with a Mega Evolved Pokemon or a Legendary. Literally shocked. I don't want to battle just to win, but I want to see how you and your Pokemon think and feel. That's the kind of Pokemon battle I'm going to have with you right now. All right, Serena. The last major battle of today's episode. I might even just cut it after this. There's no point in seeing me take on the rest of it because nothing is going to happen. All right, and Imbor. That is pretty much power and something that I should not mess around with with Biscuit out here. You know what I mean? You're a fighting type so that, you know, it'll be neutrally effective. I just, I don't know what else you can know from me. Let's see, who could I go to to do some damage to you? You're fighting. I could go to Meme Gator and use uh, Waterfall. That could do some damage. Yeah, I'm probably just going to cut after this. I mean, I don't think you guys really care to see the rest of Victory Road. I mean, it's not that exciting. There's nothing else left here. And wow, the Flare Blitz. I could have done some damage, actually, with my defense with Sylveon. That could have been pretty much pretty scary, actually. All right, let's go ahead and use Waterfall, though, and see what you got for me. All right, Waterfall right here. I'm going to knock it out one hit. Come on. We finally got a physical attacking move. The game even just lagged right there. What do you have? Oh, okay. Got head smash. My lord. Meme Gator lives. Come on, buddy. Stay alive. Stay alive. Oh, my gosh. That, I didn't expect to do that much damage. I'm going to be honest. I didn't. Uh, I knew it's a powerful move, but Meme Gator's a beast, and he did live it, though, in nine levels lower. I didn't even notice that. We're nine levels lower. All right, good job, Meme Gator. I am so proud of you for living that. All right, just go ahead and you surf. Get this thing out of here. All right, Serena, already spicing up today at an hour into this video. Okay, good job. Get on out of here. All right, you got five more mods, though. Five more to take care of. How much of the levels are going to be? These levels are probably going to be really high. <laughs> what do you got, Serena? And it's, okay, I have a, we can definitely handle that. We'll go over the lock right here. Hit it with a Flare Blitz. That should be enough. Now, should I go ahead and evolve, Mega Evolve you, or should I save that for Lu I might save that for Lucario. I think that'd be smarter. The game is, like, crazy lagging right now. Uh, I don't even know why. It's just my 3DS. It's not the recording session. It's literally my 3DS. All right, get out. You're done. Four more to go, Serena. I know you have a legendary in there somewhere. I know you do. It's our Bonsai. Okay. Um, let's see. We go back over to Meme Gator, I guess. Are you just... Oh, you're just not really bringing some power to the table there, Serena. I know you have something up your sleeve. Your levels are really high, though. Maybe maybe it would be good if you don't have any major Pokemon right now. Maybe that would be good, because your levels are almost approaching 70. <laughs> that is insane. Go ahead and use Waterfall. And it's not going to be enough. Double Edge! Why does everybody have this? All right, it's not going to kill me. Waterfall one more time. That will be enough. Whew. <sighs> Barely breathing out here. Barely even functioning. All right. Three more to go. What do you got, Serena? A medical. <laughs> ah, this is stressful right now. Oh, my gosh. I guess I could go to Alex and close combat it. I don't think it will, but Metagross could technically have Earthquake. I don't think it will, but... I don't know if I should go for a close combat. That's the issue. Oh, you actually have a Metagross right now? All right, um... No, I'm gonna go for Sky Uppercut, actually. I'm not gonna go for it. It avoided the attack. And it landed an Iron Defense. 
I probably should, I'm gonna get Alex out of here. I, I'm, I'm gonna get Alex out of here. I'm gonna go to Loch Ness and just use Flamethrower. I probably should have went to Loch Ness ahead of time anyway. Uh, just because fighting, you know, it's normally effective, but I still thought it could do some damage. But Loch Ness is definitely- Oh, Hammer Arm. I mean, that's not very effective, that's still probably gonna do some damage. Alright, we can definitely handle it, and then went ahead and lowered its speed, so we- I mean, we'll probably have speed anyway, but... Since it did use Iron Defense, I'm gonna go ahead and use Flamethrower for its special defense. Should do- okay, that did some damage, okay, sweet. Hyper Beam! All right, we outspeed. We outspeed definitely. That could have been some actually a special attack and not stab, but still, 150 damage is scary. Which I mean, doesn't actually doesn't hyper beam get reduced in like a later gen? I know it used to be 150, but oh, my my Espeon. That's my that's my that's my uh, evolution right there. Um, let's see here. I guess Meme Gator with a crunch. I probably should heal Meme Gator though, because Espeon can do some damage with a Psychic Stab. I definitely need to heal Meme Gator right here. Alright, let's see. Level 62. Okay, so this is a lower level. That's good. Alright, go ahead and heal. I, I, she might actually not have a Legendary or Mega Evolved Pokemon. She had a good team though. I mean, Embor, Metagross, Espeon. I don't know why the game looks like it's lagging so much. Maybe that's why, because I had the three. Look at the. If you turn a 3D on a 3DS, it moves. You can see the screen go back and forth. Maybe that's why. Oh my lord! I told you that could do some damage. Oh, who did I go to? Gauntlet would have been the thing to do. Gauntlet would be perfect right here. Oh yeah, I can't do anything. It's gonna keep using Psychic, and I can't just wait out Psychics. A crit will kill, and you went ahead and lowered my special defense. Oh, I did not mean to run away, even though that's what I want to do right now. What do I do? Um, I could go to Biscuit just because Biscuit has great special defense and it could probably eat that better than Meme Gator. I don't really know how much is this gonna do. Yeah, that's better. That's much, much better. Only 60 hit points. Okay, go ahead. I could use Charm to power swap. I could use Charm. Switch all the changes. Oh, that's, I mean, we both have good special attacks, so. <laughs> I don't know if that really helps you or hurt you. I don't know who technically has more. And I lowered your special attack. That is clutch right there. And you have speed. You have morning sun. That's, that is kind of annoying. But, I mean, it's going to stall you. That's all it's going to do. You keep out speeding me. I need you to attack, though. Please don't heal, Serena. You're definitely going to heal, aren't you? No, you didn't. Well, I mean, I guess it's technically healing. I need a crit. Just get this Espeon out of the way. It's a done deal. I definitely won now. I just need a crit or just, you know, just to knock it out. Please. That is not going to be enough. It's special that can do nothing to me now. Is it going to use Morning Sun again? It is. Serena, stop. You obviously lost with this Espeon. Just get it out of here. You're boring the United family with this fight. Just get it on out. We have one more. I don't think I've ever commentated so long to where my jaw starts hurting. My jaw is like locking up right now. Oh my god, that is it. She does not have any legendary or mega evolved Pokemon. It is a done deal. We won now. I'll just go ahead and keep you out here. Use Moon Blast. And that is all she wrote. We took down Serena pretty easily. I don't think you're going to have anything for me. Power Split. I mean, that's not going to really do anything either. We'll go ahead and just use Moonblast again. How is that power split going to affect me with this Moonblast? It is going to kill still. There we go. Serena is out of here. We made it out. We did have a major death though. Uh, ma a major death though today. I'm telling you guys, I can't speak when I'm so hungry. I am going to go get some food. In the next episode, everybody, we're going to be taking on the Elite Four and the Champion. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far... You're a trooper. I, I don't even know why you made it this far. I'm rambling about those random stuff. Serena gives me the most useless item in a Nuzlocke challenge. And uh, I, I, <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. I, ever since Gauntlet passed on, you know, went to a better place. I, I, my brain is just out in like another dimension right now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching though. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and smack that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. All that can be found in the description below. I'm sure you guys don't mind or really care about seeing the rest of Victory Road. 
In the next episode, though, we will be taking on the Elite Four. It is time for the finale in this series to come for an end. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm going to have to do a lot of off-cam training. I'm probably going to use Hydreigon. Uh, I think that's the best way to go for the type coverage. And I think we'll still have a good team. I just got to train. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, this is not just a channel. It is a family. And I cannot wait to see you in the next episode. I'm out.